College baseball season is now well underway, and this year, a new team is in a mix. For the first time since 1981, the Chaminade Silver Swords are back and already making an impact. Here's the story of their return to the field. In a state where baseball is so deeply valued, Richard, let's go, work on the mound. The program has come back to life. For the first time in 43 years, the Chaminade Silver Swords have returned to the diamond. And starting up a team from scratch is no easy feat. Head coach Chad Konishi's first priority was building a 40 player roster and then a ton of admin work. That took a, a, a while, took a process, it was a journey. And then now figuring out uniforms, where we're going to practice, where we're going to play, fundraising. And another important task that can't be overlooked. And one thing I didn't imagine or, or, or think about signing up for is doing the laundry. Uh, I'm doing 80 uniforms a weekend and you know I got laundry sh strewn all over my house especially opening weekend when we had uh, put a whole carnival weekend and we always know that's that's a wet weekend and we opened up with our whites and I'm like oh my god we're gonna ruin these uniforms it's been an awesome start so far for us a stellar debut out of the gates through the first month the swords are top three in the pack west in hits RBI and run score and last weekend, they won three out of four against Crosstown rival Hawaii Pacific. It all starts with the mentality of sending a message. We've got 20 freshmen here and uh, just being able to play a little fire, a little anger, kind of like they, they don't think anything of us. When the pools came out, we were ranked dead last, you know, like we just, that, that's been our motto is why not us? You know, why, why not? The return of the Swords also provides another destination for Hawaii's wealth of talent. A quarter of the roster graduated from local high schools. It really brings a lot of opportunities for these Hawaii boys, you know. Um, not a lot of these guys get to go to the mainland and play ball and do like D1, Juco. And, you know, if they want to stay home and they don't want to go to the mainland, this is always a good option. It's always good for them to just stay home and come play college ball here. And on top of making a splash in their long overdue arrival, the 2024 Silver Swords also have a goal of building a foundation to ensure the sport is back for good. And I hope that they leave here understanding that they have left their mark and started up a, a great situation and helped me, helped the school start a baseball program again. New team, there's nothing for us to lose, but everything for us to gain. So we just go out there and play hard and see what happens. Two, two, three, one, two, three, close. Just go get them, Jonathan. You know, awesome. I like what that player just said. You know what? Yeah. Nothing to lose. Go for it. That yep. After 43 years, they can only go up. Yeah, fun story right there. And to yeah, hear Chad know. talking about the fact that, you know, he has to do so much laundry. <laughs> keep those Come uniforms on. clean. Yeah, looking good, though. You know, keep it up. And I hope that they do much success this year. Uh, and we also want to note they are playing today uh, and oh. this weekend. Four games set against Fresno Pacific at uh, Central Oahu Regional okay. Park in Waipio. Uh, games are free. So, okay. uh, Fun activity to go check. Beat Fresno. <laughs> well, here's